they're gonna kill me. Good evening, everybody. Things are looking a little bit different in here, but immunity is still yours for the taking. Tonight, we're going to have a little fun. Fun for you or fun yeah. for us? <laughs> Both, actually. <laughs> This challenge is one I've been looking forward to. It's a classic with a sweet twist. This is the Team Relay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Amazing. I feel actually a lot of pressure right now because letting my team down in a kitchen is my worst nightmare. Because I feel like I failed for the team. Come on. So I really got to set them up properly from the beginning to get to the end result. Look, I'm just going to get the base stuff done. My job as the first cook is to cut the building blocks. I'm going to build the foundation. I'm going to make a passion fruit curd and a passion fruit maple caramel to break down the sweetness of the maple. And I'm hoping that Andy's next, because I know Andy can make good cakes. So I'm going to get Andy to make a maple cake and the ice cream. And then it's up to Reynolds to put all together and plate it up beautifully. So you're really thinking about the strategy in terms of the way you're constructing this dish. You've thought about the overarching dish and what each of the members of your team are going Absolutely. to be doing. And running a kitchen, especially at a five-star hotel, you use people's weaknesses and strengths. Well, so this is a superpower of yours. This is a strength for you in this challenge. Oh, it is, it is. It's interesting to see the difference of speed I between know. both benches. She's very yeah. composed. Right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Is that how you thought it would go? No. <laughs> All right. Get out there. Come on. Hustle, hustle, All right, hustle. Andy. All right. Over here. I've got a um, milk chocolate creamer, a passion fruit curd, a passion fruit caramel um, and maple syrup. It's a key ingredient. Mm. Obviously, that's your jam. So I've got all your ingredients you might need over here. Thinking about maple syrup cake that you do, which is awesome. Maple syrup, maple syrup is a secret ingredient. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it is all. Jesus. Andy's struggling there, isn't he? I'm sitting in the locker room, and Andy is not impressed about something. Oh, I'll tell you what, Andy didn't set up my section properly. There's no spoons here, chef. She didn't leave you what? Any spoons. She's gonna be in big trouble later. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. What else I can get for you? <laughs> uh, if you could just duck off to the pantry and uh, maybe grab me some uh, cherry puree. Of well. course, yeah, I'm on my own. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't give him the spoons. I've given him everything, but I forgot the tasting spoons. Uh, I'm, ha I'm pretty happy with where Anna's going with this. No, Anna's left me a passion fruit caramel and a passion fruit curd, which I'm more than happy with because maple kind of lends itself to kind of an acidic note, it helps break through the sweetness. I figure that the dish needs a cake elements, and it just so happens that currently at my shop I'm serving a maple cake, so the recipe was fresh in the back of my head. It's nice and moist. Uh, I'm going to make a maple cake. So my maple syrup cake is full of maple flavour, vanilla flavour. Add a little dash of bourbon in there as well to kind of give it like, you know, that kind of adult feel. It kind of tastes like a pancake, to be honest, like a pancake covered in maple syrup. The girls back at the shop call it the uh, pancake cake. I'm liking what Andy's doing. Yeah, it looks good. So, so far, I've got a maple cake in the oven for him. I'm going to make a maple ice cream, and I'm going to bash out as many elements as I can that I think will work, and trust that he can come in here to bring it home. If we lose, it's his fault. <laughs> Last time I did it, I, I was last. I just literally walked on, made a couple of things, like finished cooking, plated. This is my third relay, and my previous two have been hit and miss. More importantly for you, Ronald, you took the lead. At the end, you've taken this to a really good dish for them. Thank you. We've got the panna cotta. It's not set. Despite team relays being a chaotic challenge, I kind of feel pretty good about this because we're all accomplished chefs. And Anna and Andy are strong cooks, so I'm pretty sure that they'll have everything ready for me to just play it up. 
Hello. Are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Come on, let's go. Okay. Hustle, hustle. Get out there. Come on. Are we in? Come on, All right, go, go, guys. Go. Get ready. Give your information. 30 seconds. Maple cake. Uh, brown sugar pecans with yep. a bit of bourbon through them. I see some custard, some caramel. I see some creams. And what's uh, this? This is maple custard. Your ingredient? Huh? Maple. I'm the last to cook, so it's really important to taste everything, make it look pretty, and bring it all home for the green team. Kayleen and You got some, uh, just chocolate crumb here. Time's up. Damn, that's a lot of Hey. Huh? It's a lot. Go, go, go. Annie. Out. Sorry, I was just cleaning Put up my mess. Far out. OK, OK. Congrats. Where are the spoons? Okay. <laughs> He's just setting himself up. Okay. He'll be fine. What's he doing? Hmm. Okay. So after tasting everything, Ooh. that's good. And I can already count how many components there are. There's about six components already. I've got the maple cake. It's nice and warm right in the oven. It's delicious. The maple gelato is nice and smooth and not too sweet. He's making me really nervous. And I'm just thinking to myself, OK, well, passion fruit, cake, absorb it, nice and acidic, not too rich, not too heavy. This is really, actually really tasty. He's just off with the fairies. Can I go back out there? Got the crunch from the caramelized brown sugar pecans and then the cold maple gelato. I hope he hasn't forgotten about my crumb. And I'm just thinking, what do I need to make this dish a little bit more wow? It's all up to me now. But I'm going to turn that custard into a, to a diplomat cream. I'm going to blend in some white chocolates to be a bit more velvety. He's forgotten. You reckon? Yeah, 100%. You can smell it. I'm watching Raynal. He's forgotten to take my chocolate crumb out of the oven. Mm. Does that smell like something burning in your oven, Raynal? I mean, I've burnt that crumb before myself. And before it burns, you can definitely smell it. So I'm kind of wondering if Raynal's uh, kind of nose is turned on. Oh, you're so close to the oven! Oh. He's, he's ducking down next to the oven, you know, 10 centimetres away from the oven. I was like thinking to myself, how can he not smell that? Oven. Oh, no. Hey, Reynold. Hey, guys. What's your contribution to the dessert? My contribution is putting it all together and figuring out what all the textures are. Reynold Crumble! I'm just tasting everything as I go. OK. Making sure it's not too sweet, uh, making sure the flavours work. Everything yeah. seems to be here. Crumb, Reynold. Too easy. <laughs> Leave me to it. <laughs> Chocolate crumb, Raynor. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? <laughs> oh, they're going to kill me. Reynold finally realised that the chocolate crumb was in the oven, and I, it, it looked a little, it looked a little black around the edges. I think there's, if he wants to go with it, he can still use some stuff in the middle. I hope. I thought the crumb would add a nice bit of note. It would definitely would be better if he decided to use the crumb. Let me just dig in through this crumble that is murdered. I'm so sorry, guys. Just like taste this part. I'm tasting the crumble and it's completely scorched. And that's something that I can't use, so I've got to just keep moving on and count the components and whatever I have left to work with. It's time to plate the dessert. So I put the cake in the center of the plate. I pipe in a little bit of passion fruit textures inside. Then I get a little bit of pecan crumble on top. As I'm plating, I'm piping little dollops of creme, putting little more dots of passion fruit curd. Putting the gelato on top. It's looking quite pretty. I can kind of imagine in my head the textures, the taste, there's a little bit of crunch in there, a little bit of acid, a bit of creamy, and then you have that little nice, dense, cold maple gelato. 
but I feel like it's still not a complete dish. Do I have time? Do I have time? Yes, I do. One minute, guys. Get it done. Go, go, go. I'm going to pipe the maple dip mat into liquid nitrogen and make it look like this little cool squiggly bit. It's like a frozen diplomat cream with a very abstract squiggly and a little dusting. I think this dish looks like a, a proper dish that you get in a restaurant. I'm really hoping that it's enough for my whole team to be safe from elimination. This is it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, everyone. Okay. Ooh. Oh. What do we have here? Textures of maple and passion fruit with pecan and bourbon. So we've got a maple cake with a passion fruit curd, maple gelato, and also got a maple Diplomat cream. Let's dig in. Nice looking ice cream. Now, what does that mean? Chef, what does that mean? <laughs> I've, my heart has never pounded so much in this kitchen. Ugh. It's all you. Go easy. Um... Textures of maple and passion fruit with pecan and bourbon. So we've got a maple cake with a passion fruit curd, maple gelato, and also got a maple diplomat cream. It's all you. Go easy. Yeah. As a professional, knowing the intricacy of the task, it's unbelievable. I think the idea of passion fruit was a very clever use to balance the sweetness of maple. And the way you feature the maple syrup was the most clever way you could have done it. Using it in a cold element to remove the sweetness, using it in the sponge to add moistness, and I cannot believe it's three different persons that work on this dish. It's really unified, it's really cohesive. It's all the textures you want. You have the cake, you have the ice cream, you have a crunch element to it. I loved that bourbon, maple, generous flavoured experience, but also the refinement that you bring to plating and also just curation of flavours as well. This dessert is demonstrative of each of your skills separately, but also now wonderfully together in one bowl. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Green you Team. Much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Oh, great bug. Great bug.